Hey, what's up? It's me, Stevie Boy, and you're watching MobileMediaTV.com. This is the entrepreneur's choice, Mogul Media TV. If you don't know who he is by now, big entrepreneur, part of the site from day one. But for those who are tuning in the first time, introduce yourself. Hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm a skinny boy. I'm a celebrity designer. You may see some of my eyewear <laughs> or some of my crazy jackets, clothing, gloves, accessories, etc. And how long have you been doing this? Um, just a year and a half. Now let's fast forward. Vogue, Italy, and Japan, like, how they, how that connection got set up? I mean, I kind of lose track sometimes of how these connections happen, but those connections specifically, it's just great communication, having a great product, making sure yes. it's the right person's hands. And this is also tips for people that care and that want to know. Um, just making sure that you have a great rapport with people, that's very, very important. And being very faithful and honest, um, all that goes into account. Then having those connections with Vogue, et cetera, and whoever else you have connections with. Regardless, it could be Walmart, it could be Disney, it could be anybody else. So you definitely have those connections. And tell us about the current piece you have in your hand. This is one of my favorite pieces for my collection because right now it is featured on uh, the cover of uh, Japan Vogue, October issue, uh, music issue, sorry. <laughs> music issue, you can check that out. And it's also four other pairs of my glasses featured in the magazine as well. What's a day like for SB Shades from when you wake up in the morning, like, what goes on? Well, typically during Fashion Week, my day is very hectic. I mean, it's, I'm sure everyone says that, but in my case, I'm very dramatic. I, everything has to go right away. I'm not a bitch. I'm not an ass to work with, but I can be if things are not done right. Um, so you look for precision, clarity. Um, I'm not like super duper like to the point like if it's not done, it can be, you know, go that way. But I, I know how to bear with mistakes and so on. But one thing I don't like is laziness. Because <laughs> um, at the end of the day, it's going to hurt me and it's going to hurt my team. So I'm very, very protective of um, this. But a typical day is basically waking up in the morning. Um, I'm going to step away from fashion years. That depends. But waking up in the morning, uh, checking the computer, see the words I got in. Sure they get done, call my manufacturers to make sure they're doing them. Um, I don't really have these issues and get them shipped out. Simple as that. Other things come about. I mean, my day is not the same every single day, but that's basically my day. Now, you're a big part of Fashion Week this year. I noticed that you were part of it as a supporting fashion designer, then as a headliner. How many dates you had this year? Well, I sponsored a couple of events. I sponsored this one, which is my favorite. Jezebel is a the clothing store in uh, Soho. Uh, I did Rich and Rich's show. I walked as a model. So I started all the month. And I put my designs in the show, my sunglasses, accessories, etc. And I had my own show this previous Monday at Rock Park Hotel, which was awesome. And this one was a press only event that was awesome as well. If anybody wants to purchase these fine products, where can they go? They can pick up my glasses at www.stevieboy.com. That's S T E I E. And what's the hardest thing about being a runway model? Because I know you pick the best of your best to represent your products. What do you look for? Um, I look. I used to be a model, so I'm very, I'm very picky, but I'm not picky to the point where I'm just like, no, I can't work. I just think when I look for a model, I look to see everyone in that model. I don't go for a specific race ever, a gender. By transgender, you know, living guy, I say, I don't care about that. I just want to make sure when I see you, I can see 20,000 other people. And that's what choosing a model is for designer. But as a model perspective, that's the way I feel as well. Are you a humanitarian? Like, do you, does Stevie Boy give back? Stevie Boy always gives back because Stevie Boy came from nothing. So Stevie Boy has to give back. Uh, well, Steven Strader as well. But um, yes, I am a humanitarian. I think it's always about giving back. And uh, making sure that people feel comfortable. I mean, I've been treated so many horrible ways as a human being that I just don't agree with. So I think it's very important for anybody and everybody to make sure they get to everybody and anybody. I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> What's 
One piece of advice you can leave with an entrepreneur. One piece of advice I can to is to be prompt and be assertive. But be prompt. As of like being prompt, be on time, make sure everything is in order and professional, as well as the tips are. And also, I'll say your phone. You can't just hop into any business without any money. I don't understand that mentality, but you have to save money. That's it. Would you like to style Elton John in the future? Oh, of course. All of us style Grace Jones in the future as well. That hasn't come up yet? No. It'll happen. But it will. Because you already styled Fergie recently and I mean the list goes on and on. They just got to find you out there. It's always good to see you. Strive to be number one. Peace. Coexist.